Well, what's up, guys? I am back here with some more Pokemon S Storm Silver. Um, I said I was gonna do some awesome grinding, and I did. And I also edited uh, Pot's gender to be female because I decided I'm just gonna get Gardevoir. Um, because I noticed they learned Aura Sphere in this game, so you know, that's pretty cool. Uh, and I will, of course, give me the option to picking up another fighting type down the road if I so wish to do so. But, anyways, I got Hotsauce with level 11, uh, Cormag level 10, Lux is level 13. Uh, some Barrel, I didn't really train him at all. I don't know if I want to use him yet. But, uh, and then Eevee's still level 5, because I don't like Eevee. Pot is just level 9. Uh, it's kind of difficult to train up when everything has, like, kind of super effective move on Pot, you know, being Whirlpool and Shinx, which are, like, everywhere. Uh, but whatever. Yes, in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and take on the Bellsprout Tower. So, let's go ahead and <coughs> make our way over there. Oh, wait, no, no, no. First, first things first, I remember. I, I need to... At least try to talk to everybody here and uh, see if there's anything of any value I can get. I know there's the ice shard, the, the, the shard guy. Uh, he gives you a berry for a shard. Uh, he was in the original game, so I know that much. Alright, but uh, let's go ahead and talk to these people. You're a trainer, right? Regardless of whether you're a rookie or not, please take this. An EXP chair? That is fantastic, actually. Holy crap, I didn't know I get the EXP chair this early. Uh, mm hmm. The leer. But three years ago, this group of thugs called Team, Team Rocket was uh, involved in wrongdoing. They were abusing Pokemon, but that thing's never last. The boy did a wonderful job and Team Rocket was disbanded. Great. Uh, Pokemon are really smart. Trainer Pokemon may not listen to you right away. For example, how level Pokemon sometimes refuse to obey when you don't have enough gym badges? Uh, well, hello there, trainer. Would you like to take a quiz? Uh, sure. Excellent, let's get started. Question one. Were any Hoenn Pokemon obtainable in Leaf Green and Fire Red? No. Wait, what the hell? They were? They were? I'm pretty sure they weren't any Hoenn Pokemon available in Leaf Green and Fire Red. I'm pretty damn sure they were. Is Dragonair more than 13 feet long? I think? I'm gonna get this wrong wrong, I, I know it. Okay, I was right. Alright, good. Uh, semi-final question, is it true that Bulbasaur was the first Pokemon created? No. First, the final question, can Tropius be found within Diamond and Pearl? I think so. Nope. Okay, never mind. Stupid quiz. I'm pretty sure there were no Hoenn Pokemon in the Green and Fire Red. Like, the only way you can send them in was trade. To trade. Fuck! Did it again. This is stupid. <laughs> ah, here we go. Congratulations, you completed the quiz. You cannot pick a price Pokemon. Which would you like? Ooh. Yo, yeah, I'm definitely not using Lotad. <laughs> if I can use Cordula, why why use Slotad? Alright. Let's go ahead and move Pokemon around. Oh yeah, I still caught a Weasel. Uh, but... Because again, I, I wasn't sure if I want to use Slotad or not, so I caught a Weasel just in case, but uh, I guess it will solve for not because I'm gonna end up using Squirtle. <coughs> uh, give me the Squirtle, man. As you wish! And there he is. Turtle wax. <laughs> of course. Then what I was name him turtle uh, turtle wax. Either that or ninja. I'm, I'm just gonna call him turtle wax. It's kinda like a staple at this point. There it is. Turtle Wax. Woohoo! Look out for more, for, uh, more of us quiz masters. I mean, sure, if you're gonna be giving me free Pokemon, sure as hell. Hmm. You tell me what kind of trainer you like best? Oh, this is the... Alright. Yeah, I'll just leave it like it is. It doesn't matter. And, uh, let's talk to this guy. This guy looks suspicious. Hello! I should be a familiar face to every Pokemon fan. I'm from TV show, The Show Me Show. I'm Primo, the bigger brother. Today, we, 
Would you, one of my fans, tell me what you think of me? Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't know. Whatever, let, let, let's just... We got our Squirtle. Oh yeah, speaking of that, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at him. <coughs> Level 10, so that's nice. Relaxed natured. Alright, he, he has Torrent. Uh, I'm not sure if the Pokemon... The starter Pokemon have different abilities in this game. Doesn't seem like it. Which is kind of, you know, kind of... Kind of, uh, disappointing. <coughs> I mean, I can't, I can't complain. I have Cynical and Squirtle. At the beginning, so all right, here we are at the Bellsprout Tower, and it's glitchy as hell. Let me step the hell out. <laughs> oh crap! I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm pretty sure no one here gives me anything. It's just like the regular Bellsprout Tower. So. I also can't expect everybody to have Bell Spot. I mean, it'd be nice if they did, so Rats could level up. But, uh... Who knows? We'll see. Nope, he has a Slunker. Uh, I'm not sure if Slunker got boosted stats in this game. I'm pretty sure he did. <coughs> Either way, I'm gonna stay in and just go for confusion and hope it's a 2 to KO at best. Uh, yes, very solid 2 to KO. That's fantastic. Maple Fusion shoot. We'll seal the deal. Sucker goes down and Pot will get some pretty good experience. Um, I'm gonna have to change that nickname once I get the Golden Rod. Uh, learn Double Team. Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh, there's the Bell Sprout. Oh, yeah, this man has four Pokemon. Holy crap. That's a lot of Pokemon. I hope this is a one hit KO, but I doubt it though. It is a one hit KO, okay. Pot, I, I apologize. A lot stronger than I thought you were. That didn't give me as much experience as I thought it would. Uh, those parts are known to be, you give a pretty decent amount of experience. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh well. A route. I can't say anything on that. I'm gonna go, gonna go out to Luxa. Uh, Lux is level 13, and simply due to the fact that, you know, I'm gonna be relying on her to deal with the gym. But, uh, you know, I hope everything goes well. She learned Spark, too, which is great. Alright, let us press onward. Again with the glitchiness. <laughs> Is this really gonna be a recurring thing? Just, ew, that looks like so bad. <laughs> Holy shit. We guard this tower. Here we express our gratitude to show our respect for all Pokemon. Oh, I forgot to turn on the GB sound. Fuck. Why didn't you guys remind me? Uh, this man has a Bellsprout lead. Which is great. Level 9, so it gives me just a little bit more experience. Uh, hopefully enough to level up. That'd be, that'd be nice. Aha, there it is. Level 11. Pot is growing nice. Very nicely. Very quickly. Uh, execute, though. Mm, I think Hot Sauce already learned Ember, yeah. So I'm gonna go to Hot Sauce. Hot Sauce is a Critical hit, doubt it mattered, because Central is a boss. And, wow, that levels up. Holy crap. Cynical is pretty easy to level up, I guess. And a polywag is kind of random. That can look kind of random. But, uh... Whatever, Luxa here. Luxa can deal with it. 
Guess I do have spark now. Destroy him! Whoa, he's faster than me. And of course he hits hypnosis. Fuck, man. I hate polywag. So fucking much. That is so ridiculously fast. Like, holy shit. Slow one out, I'm level 13. Yeah, spared me and put my ass to sleep. God damn it, Luxo. How dare you fall asleep on the job? Destroy him! Wake up and destroy him! Please! No, who stop? Alright, you're gonna wake up this time. And you're gonna kill this polywag. Ah, <sighs> oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> this is so stupid. Yes! And that's a dead ass polywag. Why the hell is polywag so fast and so. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> It doesn't make any sense. Get our next accuracy. Go away, I'm recording. <laughs> oh, this man's a Marie. <laughs> this man's a Marie. It's static, alright. I'm just gonna stand and go for confusion. Um, there really shouldn't be much Marie can do to me unless he fun away me. And he's gonna go for charge. Well, that's kind of annoying because he gets a special defense boost in this game. So he's. Confusion is not gonna be a three hit KO from this rank, I believe. Or not. I get a crit. That's that's very nice. Pot, I appreciate all the work you've been putting in. Then a hoot hoot. Hoot hoot's really annoying. Because he has hypnosis. He might have hypnosis. I'm not sure what level he learns it. So I'm just gonna to lose it, hopefully outspeed and take him out with speed. The spark. And I do outspeed. So hoot hoot goes down. And hopefully the last thing this guy has is something that Pot can, you know, kill. Or, you know, handle relatively well. Uh, it's an artist. Yes, I'm definitely gonna go out into, into Pot. <clears throat> the fusion that may not kill this artist is a little bit bulkier than Bill Sprout. But we shall see. Yeah. Oh, uh, hell yeah, Otis is really bulky. <laughs> really bulky. <clears throat> Looking for me though, he just went for a sweet scent, so I'm, I'm, I haven't taken any damage with Pot, which is great. The only one that has taken damage is uh, Lux, and that's only because she felt asleep. Right, let's press onward. And we got three more sages to go before we fight the, you know, the, the, the big boss himself. The Arc Sage, or the Elder, or whatever this position is called. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot you can run into Pokemon here. Fucking Zigzagoon, are you kidding me? That's the last thing I wanted to see. I can't escape. God damn it, Pot. Why the hell couldn't Zigzagoon have... Fucking run away. Let me get away! Come on! Alright, good. Uh, I'm gonna use the potion. Because, I mean, I mean, that's what I bought him for, so. To be used. Doesn't make any sense to be stingy with them, so. <clears throat> Alright, here's the first, the, the first bald guy. Let's see what he has. Hopefully it's a Bell Sprout. Because now after all, it's the Bell Sprout Tower. Yes, it is a Bell Sprout. A level 12 Bell Sprout. So that's slightly terrifying. Just a little bit though. Don't know if confusion will be a Oko from this range. And it is with a critical hit, not bad. Uh hopefully level up with Yeah, I'm definitely gonna level up with that. Level 12 already, not bad pot. 
And it learned teleports? Not even bad. Not even bad. Although it sucks that teleport doesn't work indoors. Like an, uh, like an escape rope or anything. Kind of stupid, but it's, it's whatever. And the old TM lights up in the pitch black darkness. Sounds a little intense, man. A little intense. Yo, Psyduck. Hmm. Yes, damp. Yeah, he goes to Toe Web, I'm not sure I like that. Not sure I like that. Ooh, Psyduck is bulky. <laughs> he goes for Toe Whip and then Water Gun. Like, what? <laughs> the strats, man. The strats are too real. Ooh, he, he was through. Into not to. God damn it. Look, look, at, look at these. Look at these CPUs, man. Making plays. Getting bad. Get the confusion. Get the fuck out of here. I forget if we're trying to make big boy plays for no reason. Uh, I'm gonna go to Luxa. Uh, that's Gordon. I'm probably gonna train it a bit off screen. Uh, perhaps. I don't know. Air Cutter. That's not doing anything. Yeah, that did absolutely nothing. And you that to Spark. So, uh, see you later. See you later. Uh huh, uh huh. Gonna go to Bulbasaur. Um, gonna go to Corbag. Why not? Bulbasaur looks so adorable. If only it was a complete ass, I would actually play with it. Man, well, then again, I think in this game it's actually a lot better, but... I don't know. If I find one in the wild, I'm gonna catch it and probably use it. I don't know, but... 150 experience that I level up. Goddamn Cormag. Really easy to level up. I, I love that. Uh, he's gonna evolve soon too, which is, which is great. What's a little 14. And so is Cynical. Uh, so I'm gonna try to maybe evolve in this episode. If not, uh, level him up off screen so he can level up immediately in the next one. Uh, we'll see. We'll see though. Uh, there's no reason for me to be thinking so far ahead. Uh, we'll cross that bitch when we get there. First things first is to get rid of the Psyduck and uh, finish off this dude over here, Sage Neo. With the shiny bald ass head. Which actually doesn't make any sense because in their overworld sprite they're actually bald. But in their in game like in game portrait or whatever. Uh you can see they have like gray hair. Like they they were just safely uh not safely, what the hell am I talking about? Like their hair was is literally growing back. Little you know, a little bit of inconsistency there. So you see, you see, you see? Right there. Right there, right there, right there. And Abra. <clears throat> well, I could stay in, but that will take too much time, so. I'm gonna go into Luxa. Or Luxa. Okay, so it's nothing but teleport to hit me with, so. Your efforts are futile, Abra. <coughs> I wish teleport worked like, uh, you know, like, the top pass or something like that. I mean, it makes perfect sense for it to work that way. I don't know why it's never been implemented. But, uh... It's really weird. Not, like, once you think about it, it's really weird that it doesn't work that way. Like, you turn both switch, but top pass, you know, just a way to switch out into another Pokemon. It's really weird. I wonder what reason it have for that, you know, for it not working that way. Alright, Reflect, God damn it. Don't know if this one is gonna kill now. I hope it does. Mm, nope. Oh god damn it, I hate hypnosis so much. It never fucking misses. Ugh. No, oh, this is so annoying. Ugh, this is so annoying. Wake up, poor mag. Wake up, Corbag. <sighs> See, now he recovered too much health and I won't be able to kill him with his next wing attack. This is a stupid reflect. 
Ah, oh, come on. He, he pulled that thing. Ah, oh, come on. I, I, oh. Now the reflect we're off, so all that I need to wake up right now. Because I know he's gonna set up the reflect again if I stay asleep. Alright, we'll go up, get the wink attack off and kill the, the stupid executes, and I doesn't have to ruin my day anymore. Ah, that's really annoying. <laughs> that is really annoying. Holy crap. And then hoot hoot. Um, gonna go to Lux and just finish this off as quickly as possible. I forgot what level it looks like, boss. I think level 18? I think. I hope. Bam, 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 bam. I still haven't turned on the GB sounds. <laughs> Ooh, the hop -ip. Uh, hop -ip, I think, only knows... Splash at this point. <laughs> In synthesis. Uh, I honestly don't don't know anything about Hoppy learns it at all. I think Hoppy is bad. Uh, Ember should just finish him off, and or not. Hoppy was a little bit bulky, and I give him credit for. Oh, he has tackle. All right, so he he's not completely useless. I mean, he took an Ember and got a tackle off. So. I gotta give credit where credits due. Almost level up from that. Pretty nice. Oh, what? A boss level 16? Not bad. Not even bad. And there it is. We have a Luxio now. And this one is Dark Electric. Uh, oh, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Yeah, let's take a look at him. Now show you. Yeah, you see electric dark. So now he has stab bite and stab spark. That's really cool. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, potions. Gotta buy some more. <clears throat> all right, and all that's left is this old guy over here. And there goes Nips. Showed me, uh, you showed us what you've got, and it is indeed good. Take this elemental stone. However, you should care more about your Pokemon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. <laughs> What's up, Nips? What are you, what are you up to? Mm -hmm. My dogs are going ham. Holy shit! I'm pretty sure you guys can't hear them, but goddamn, they're going ham. God, stupid wild Pokemon coming out of nowhere, ruining my day. Starly? I didn't know you could catch Starlies in here. Uh, I'm gonna switch out just because I know I can't run away from this guy. Guess I mean, if I could have run away from a Zigzagoon. No way now I'm gonna be able to run away, run away from a Starly. Mm-hmm. And then run away. And then face off against the Elder. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People in Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I'm the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. Uh, good luck with that, bro. And I forgot to turn on the GV sounds again. Alright, Lee Spell Sprout, which is great. This pot can get some more experience here and probably level up in process. I hope. To a KO. I see it's a flash. Uh, please don't miss. Pot, please. God damn it, I hate that. That's so annoying. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Ah. That's so stupid. That is so fucking stupid, oh my god. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm so upset. <laughs> that was so unnecessary. God damn it, man. This is why we can't have nice things.
I'm really glad it's a Nuzlocke, otherwise I would've just lost my shit right now. <laughs> Shingling, uh, Luxor. Actually, let's see if we can get Cormac to evolve, evolve in this episode. Cause like I said, he evolved pretty quickly. <clears throat> he levels up pretty quickly too. And grass types give a pretty decent amount of experience compared to other Pokemon. Uh, that's annoying. But so long as he has that protect, I don't really care. That's a lot of HP he got back, holy crap. I'm surprised he took that wig attack. I had to think about it. Hoot hoot. I'm gonna. St uh, I can't stay in. It's a lead to. Oh well. Well, there's all the gym trainers. I could probably try to get him to evolve there. Alright, last thing is a hoo hoo. Who's about to get obliterated by the spark? And uh, that is the end of that. Ooh, so close to level up. So close, you're so far. Oh, that's a lot of money. Hmm, the way you battle is quite elegant. You should be able to stand up to Faulkner. Let me offer you a reward. Tell me, what's your favorite evolution of Eevee? Uh, none. To be completely honest. But, I guess I'll have to go with Vaporeon, though. That's because it, it, it is the, the best one on paper. Um, in my opinion, of course. <clears throat> and, you know, with the Water Stone, I can also evolve, evolve Lombre if I, you know, decide to actually use them. Which I already said I'm not, so I don't know what the hell I'm talking about anymore. Pidgey! I use random ass Pokemon. Don't look at me. <laughs> Go away. I'm tired. <laughs> No, are you kidding me? <sighs> no, no, no. Alright, an escape rope. Gonna go ahead and use that. Get the hell out of here real quick. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go ahead and teleport to the uh I can't use that here. You what? Teleport's so fucking useless. Holy crap. Who in their right mind is Who 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 came up with the, that idea of, for teleport? It's so fucking useless. <laughs> Holy crap! It literally has no use even in game. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so stupid. <laughs> ah, whatever. Yeah, Rouse Pots is feeling a lot better. But, uh, I won't be using her this time around. Gonna go ahead and put a uh, Cormag out front. And then, after that, I'll let Lux deal with everything else. Because it's time to go face off against Faulkner. Uh, this is a slightly longer episode, but, eh, who cares. Hmm. Come at me, bro! I can't believe how ridiculously high this is! From up here, because it would have feels like to be a bird Pokemon. Let me say you're good enough to face Faulkner. Yo, the first time I played this game, and I, I got this to this gym, and I saw that, I was, I was blown away. I, I was blown away. Birdkeeper Abe! Hey, that's me. That's legitimately me, because that's, that's actually my name, and I love bird Pokemon. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. 
But anyways, I, I was just blown away by 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 this gym. Just how, how everything works. I was blown away. You guys have no idea. Can you stop? <laughs> Please? Alright, I still kill up minus two, so that's great. Uh, Cold Man, level up please! Uh, ah, so close! So close! At least I have to stay in. And probably get a 3 KO on this Pidgey. He's on minus two. <clears throat> get a crit, so it's a 2 KO instead, and Cold Man is now level 14. And should be evolving right after this battle. That means now I can use oh the duo. Huh. Well it looks like I can deal with literally everything now, so I ain't even worried. Now we have another evolution on on, on screen. Not bad. <clears throat> there we go. Now we have a nice and powerful Staravia. But I guess now it's time to put Luxa back out of front. And uh, what the hell? And there we go. And before I forget, I'm gonna put the GB sounds on. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> this man's a zoo bat. <laughs> That's really cool. <clears throat> Ooh, a Ringo! Oh man, this man's about to get his shit pushed in. <laughs> so hard. Get him out of here! Oh, <laughs> uh, the Wingo's dead. Uh, ooh, level up. That's great. Level 17. I'm, I'm more than prepared to get uh, to deal with uh, Faulkner now. I uh, just hope he doesn't have six Pokemon. I mean, really annoying and completely unnecessary, in my opinion. I should probably buy some potions, but I'm just really confident in Luxa being able to handle everything. So, uh, with that being said, let us talk to Faulkner and begin. I'm Faulkner, the Vi lead Violet City Pokemon gym leader. People say you can quit flying type Pokemon with a jolt of electricity. I will not last us insult to bird Pokemon. I will show you the real power of my magnificent bird Pokemon. He said bird Pokemon like six times. And it's just really weird. <laughs> Alright, Faulkner, let's see what you're made of. He does have six Pokemon. That's slightly infuriating. Uh, makes things a lot longer than they need to be. Not difficult, just really long and annoying. Uh, especially because I can't speed up. <laughs> uh... But whatever, look, like I said, Luxa can just oko everything. Because Luxa is a boss. Pidgeotto. Um, so long as he doesn't outspeed me and go for sand attack, I should be fine. It's not speed me. So he should die to the spark. If he survives and goes for sand attack, I'm going to be so mad. He's, he survived. And he has a citrus berry. Or an orange berry. 
And he goes to tackle on said. Okay, I can I can deal with that. I can deal with that. It's much better than him going for muscle slap or sand attack. Cause knowing my luck, I'm just gonna miss miss until he kills me. Another level up? Man, Lux is gonna Lux has been putting in the work. Ooh, nice slash? Yeah, I mean I would have a bite, but I guess I get rid of charge. I'm never gonna and actually end up using charge ever, so. <clears throat> then shout out, shout out to Jedi is really not bulky. As far as I know. <clears throat> yeah, that gave me a lot of experience. Swablu? Hmm. No, no, I, I was just thinking about maybe I want to get a Swablu to get Altaria, but I'm like, no, because I don't want too many, many flying types. I love, as much as I love flying types, it's n really not a good idea to make a team with a lot of flying Pokemon. Someone is calling me. Uh, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Uh, I had to take that call. It was pretty important. But, uh, uh yes, a Farfetch last. Farfetch, as far as I know, is actually a relatively good Pokemon in this game. Uh, it's gotten a lot of boosts in stats, so I'm slightly actually kind of terrified. Uh, but then he's level 12, so his stats, like numerically, are not like on par with mine. So yeah, I took him out with one spark. Uh, Lux is level 19 already, <laughs> and then last but not least is a Murkrow. I honestly expect him to have his Pidgeotto for last. Because seeing as he literally had nothing for Luxa, you know, it makes sense, but... Mercury outspeeds me, get a, gets a fucking crit. Doesn't kill me though, which is nice, and uh, should die to this spark. And there we, there it is, I got a crit on my own just to spite him. Uh, it didn't matter at all, but, you know, just to rub it in. And, uh, that is it, that is the end of Faulkner. <clears throat> yeah, fuck you Faulkner, you're literally the worst blind gym leader I ever made. Mm -hmm. I will take that. <laughs> With that badge Pokemon including tra yeah, you guys you guys should have already know this. Uh TM fifty one, which I believe is Roost. It's really not a useful move in game, but it's in my opinion literally one of the best moves ever made. <laughs> so uh that's that. That's it's gonna be the end for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed! I uh, apologize for my rather lackluster narration, I feel like it was, but I, I just, I don't know, I'm just a little bit tired, but anyways, regardless, hope you guys enjoyed, and I uh, look forward to the next episode. Until then, uh, peace out, guys. Bye.